guys welcome back to my channel so today i am, i just wanted to come and actually do another update you guys because i know a lot of people been wanting to know if i switched obgyns um how far along i am um how me and my fiance been feeling about um expecting baby number seven and things like that so i definitely wanted to actually get this video out to you guys so you guys let's start up, start um off with how many weeks i am so at this point in time i do not know how many weeks i am i don't know until i actually go to the doctor for them to be able to do an ultrasound to be able to tell me how many weeks i am so at this point i do not know um which i do want to know really really bad so i'm thinking about going to one of those um independent ultrasound places where you can see your baby a little earlier or get the gender things like that but obviously i'm not getting no gender yet because we don't know how far i am so um yeah we're thinking about actually going to one of those so we'll definitely keep you guys um updated with that too so if i do end up going i will um bring the camera record that and everything so you guys can see the little baby as well so how have i been feeling you guys um at first you guys already know i was really 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 overwhelmed with the thought of having another baby so soon y'all y'all know i just had baby bella and it just came rushing up on me so fast because this is something that i actually did not expect to happen so soon because um me and him we were talking about having a baby probably in about two years from now maybe another one so for it to come five months postpartum again <laughs> was a shocker and i was feeling like i said overwhelmed and confused but at this point i'm actually happy joyful um, I know God wouldn't put places in my life if he didn't think we were, you know, ready for it. So, I'm actually really excited for this chapter in our life with baby number seven, you guys. Um, Symptom-wise, y'all, I've been cramping. Um, Obviously, using the bathroom a lot, back and forth. Um, I've been really nauseous. I've actually gotten really nauseous this week, actually. I actually threw up, I think, about three times. I actually threw it three times, you guys, so far. So, yeah, I was actually washing dishes, y'all. Funny story. I was washing dishes, and I actually was throwing away some rice, old rice that I had, <laughs> in this uh, pot, y'all. And when I tell you the whiff of the rice took me away, took your girl away, okay? It was disgusting. But anyway, I continued to clean after that. I threw up. It was nasty. But anyway, that's how I've been feeling. Um, like I said, I've been nauseous. I've had headaches on and off. I've been really, really gassy. So these are like signs that I had before I found out I was pregnant anyway. Like, if you guys want to know that. So these are like signs that I actually had before I found out I was pregnant. I'm actually still having these signs. So that's crazy. So yeah, I'm actually gassy. TMI, I know, but I'm actually gassy. What else? I'm trying to think. Oh, you guys, my nipples burn. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you I was laying down in the bed one morning and they was on fire, like, they are literally on fire. Like, they've been burning. Like, I don't know if you ever experienced that before. Like, when you go outside and they just burn. Like, no, I had them burning for no reason. Okay. And, um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Yep, so that's all with my symptoms and how I've been feeling about baby number seven. Um, baby, how you been feeling about baby number seven so far? Great. So, what you think? I think it's wonderful. He over there, he holding, um, uh, belly, y'all. So that's why he not on camera. But, um, he's, he was, he actually thought I was lying, to be, to be honest with you guys. He was like... Thought it was a prank. Yeah, he thought it was a prank. Even though I don't prank him, I don't know how the heck he thought it was a prank, but he did. He was like, babe, you, you for real, you prank? I'm like, babe, I think. Well, when I found out, 
I told him, I said, babe, I think I'm pregnant. Because the tests were positive, you know me, I was still in the ninth stage. So, yeah, baby, so what else, how have you been feeling about um, baby number seven? I was just, I was just so shocked. I mean, I'm happy. I was just shocked because we really was, I thought we was doing ourselves right and preparing ourselves right, but uh, I guess not. Right, like you thought we were being careful, right? Yeah, being careful. Yeah, I thought we was being careful too. Like, we didn't think that we was going to actually see a positive test and stuff until we started trying probably two years from now y'all because like i said we just had bella like i was like baby we just gonna give ourselves two years and he agreed we're gonna give ourselves two years we're gonna step back and you know take time out to let the kids grow and things like that but you know god says you make a plan and i'll laugh at you so we made a plan and he definitely laughed because we're pregnant okay <laughs> um so yeah he's actually really excited right baby very excited so, yeah, he's excited. You know, he loves being a dad, so. To add to my collection. To add to his collection. Did y'all hear that? Okay. Love my kids. I know you love your kids, baby. So, I mean, just a bigger family. I had a big family growing up. My mom had, um, have a lot of kids. So, his mom has a lot of kids. So, we are used to being in big families and things like that, so. yeah so OBGYN you guys I know you guys want to know the tea you guys I called Monday let them know how I was feeling um let them know that I want to be discharged from their um OBGYN facility that I was not coming back that they might as well go ahead and cancel the appointment that they have for me and I just wanted them to refer me to a place that I wanted to go so you guys i let them know like i said how the midwife and their nurse treated me that day i actually came which was that friday and um she was like well i'm sorry that you had that experience is there anything we can do no ma'am this night i just want to be discharged and i just want you guys to refer me to another facility so that's what they did you guys i actually got my papers in the mail i think today I got my papers in the mail today, you guys, and um, my appointment is on the 15th um, at 8.30. So, I don't know if that's the same type of appointment because um, when they made my appointment at this OBGYN, which is my old OBGYN, you guys, you know they made an ultrasound appointment so we can figure out how far along I am. So, this appointment, I'm not sure, which I'm pretty sure, well, I'm pretty sure that is an ultrasound appointment it has to be because we have to figure out how many weeks I am, you guys. Okay. So I'm really excited about going to this OBGYN, seeing how it is there, seeing how they treat me there because I've never been here before. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I definitely did change OBGYNs, you guys. <laughs> so I won't be going there anymore. So I'm definitely going to take you guys on that. Um, ride with me so we can see what's the difference y'all in the in the nurse and the doctors so yeah y'all um i definitely just wanted to come like i said and give you guys an update on baby me how i've been feeling how he's feeling about baby number seven um yeah y'all so if you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up you guys make sure you guys comment below let me know your thoughts on me switching OBGYNs, my feelings on being pregnant with baby number seven. If you guys have any questions, please be free. Oh, Lord, y'all. I can't even talk. <laughs> please feel free to leave it in my comment section below, and I'll get back to all of you guys. I love you guys as always, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.